Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. The content on this channel is about to change for a couple of episodes here. We're gonna shift gears from uh, Jeep um, heavy content towards Broncos. So don't worry, Jeeps are gonna st are here to stay. These Broncos are on loan uh, to me uh, from Ford Canada and this was uh, during the summer of 2022 when they approached me to uh, help them assist putting together an event for uh, the media launch of the Raptor and Everglades version of the Broncos. So after a couple of meetings that I had with them and some site visits and some trail rides we did together, they sent me down these two Broncos. They sent me uh, two four doors, uh, Badlands and a Wild Track. Both are Sasquatch packages. And uh, this is my first time getting my hands on them. And these are my first impressions. The views and opinions in this video are entirely my own. I am under no obligation to be pro or con anything. This is simply my first impression, what I thought of uh, the Broncos when I received them. Furthermore, these Broncos were not given to me to conduct a, a review on them, uh, but to test them out on the trails for an upcoming event. This is the trim for the, um, the hardtop where it mounts. These are the switches, the auxiliary switches. I kind of pictured them to be like click, 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 click. Not like this, but it's kind of cool, I guess. And then you have your sway bar disconnect, front locker, rear locker, turn assist, traction control off dual climate controls, uh, wireless charging in the tray here, plus a little USB and USB-C. And then what's cool here um, is it's ready for accessories up top, as well as then you get you got power source, again, USB, USB-C, to uh, plug anything in that you might mount here, be it GoPros or whatever else. <clears throat> you can it's ready for a rail, I think it says accessory ready. So, Bronco, the handle, which I don't know, doesn't, I mean, it's, it doesn't seem overly solid, to be honest with you. It seems a little bit uh, loose, it's flimsy, but I'm sure it serves its purpose, it's enough. The orange stitching and this uh, weird material, it's like, it's not leather, it's not pleather, it's like some sort of, uh, I have to look it up and talk more about it, but it's like, I'm, per, I'm sure it's something that can get wet. Like everything is rubber, rubberized on the floor, and uh, there's no carpet anywhere. So I've obviously I've taken off the, the the hard top, which was easy enough in the front. I mean these pieces are that's nah yeah not that great. Then uh, where it mounts here that kind of looks ugly. That looks unfinished. And then the hard top in the rear is one solid piece, whereas in the front, obviously the freedom panels, it's one each, but in the rear, it's one gigantic piece. And that was not easy, <laughs> not easy to remove. I apologize, my recyclables here on the left-hand side that this is leading up against. Uh, my garage is a bit of a mess right now. So, but yeah, this is the one piece. <clears throat> and then I get the two pieces here on my uh, pressure washer. Yeah, again, so everything looks super messy right now. So apologies on that end. But yeah, obviously the LED lights, they don't flicker like that in real life. I think everyone knows at this point that that's uh, when you record on digital recording. Um, so I believe this is the uh, cruise control um, slash or smart cruise control. Like that means that there's no space for a winch in here and a steel bumper. Same, like this um, closes up, these vents close up uh, to either protect or reduce or increase the airflow to the radiator behind it. I'm not sure how a winch is supposed to fit in there, but I know that the other models, such as the um, the Everglades, uh, have winches in them. So I'm kind of curious to see what that will look like. So a huge screen in the middle. This is obviously, I like this. Uh, I kind of wish Jeep had a screen like that. It's huge. 
But then once the screen is on, but it's overall quite bland, I find. Kind of wish that the um, navigation would be a satellite and Google Maps. Yeah, let's take it for a spin. Get a first impression of the drive. A 360 view, which is cool. Yeah, and it's something Jeep does not have. not to crash these two Broncos together on day one or on any day. All right, and I'm gonna stop filming because I'm gonna pull out my driveway. And we will talk more about how the drive went and what I like and don't like about this uh, Bronco in later videos. For now, I'm gonna put the hardtop back on and um, also then jump into the wild track and check out some of those features. It took me just a little while to get this hardtop to line up and settle in place. There you go. Getting it to line up here and here is not that easy. Ah, spider. Hmm. Yeah, weird. It's like the carpet has dandruff. There's no good way of gripping the panel. There's no, on the Jeeps you have like an actual handle, like a, in an ingress piece where you can put your hand and, and it's naturally to grip there. Here it is nothing. So it's kind of awkward uh, thing to uh, pull out and carry it. Now this here is a wild peak and the only difference I can tell so far from wild peak inside is like things are look blue instead of white and the accessories are again the blue instead of orange and it's leather seats or at least fake leather I'm not sure what what it is this is the same it's got all the same features there the same goat mode uh, it's got power seats as opposed to uh, manual seats but everything else here is the same One last thing here, no sway bar disconnect, but it's got front locker, rear locker, turn assist, six auxiliary switches. And yeah, so the only difference is so far from what I can tell, it's blue and it has no sway bar disconnect and no fuel tanks get plate.
that's um, pretty much so far the difference from what I can tell.